What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and if you're a Pathfinder fan, well I have a box with one mini that fell loose, but a really interesting set here. These are Pathfinder Battles Advanced Iconic Heroes. So from my understanding of how Pathfinder works, these sort of iconic characters are sort of the, the true, like the paragons of the specific class that they are. So uh, it's eight all new miniatures featuring famous personalities from Pathfinder, oh this is all second edition. So we have Dodgy, the Fox, uh, Feya, the Human Witch, Aija, the Human Summoner, Tuku, the Eidolon, Quinn, the Human Inquisitor, uh, Cel, uh, Celtiel, the Half-Elf Magus, Magus, Jarel or, or Jirel, the Half-Elf Swashbuckler, and Korokai, the Tengu Oracle. These are phenomenally crafted minis. Also, what... Uh, an Eidolon, does that, I don't know if that's a class or a character, but basically it's a dragon. So I guess in Pathfinder 2e you can play a dragon, which is pretty sweet, and the, and a fox? Or maybe the fox is a familiar, I don't know. This is really cool. Um, this is set to release in September 2021, so it'll be probably about a month by the time you're actually watching this video, or a little bit less. It does retail for $49.99, uh, and again, this was sent over to me uh, from Paizo and the WizKids team. Uh, so I can't unfortunately find links yet because this is so far out by the time I'm actually recording this. I'm recording this in July. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and pop this open and show you it up close. Uh, and then I'll show you again the one mini here. The, the half elf may just looks like he popped off of his, broke his feet off. That should be an easy fix. All right, we have Korakai the Tengu Oracle which looks like a bird raven folk type person has a really cool kind of staff with this magical effect i'm guessing an oracle might be something like a, a diviner or some sort of time mage we've got this conical straw hat on the back as well as maybe what looks like a musical instrument very cool we even have a little definition in the eyes there i like that quite a bit we have jarell the half elf swashbuckler here again We've got a dagger there. We've got a little bit of a buckler shield on the side there, right? We're a, we're a swashbuckler slash duelist. But look at the degree of detail on, like, say, the, the cape there with, like, the tassels, even the little design on the shield itself. I mean, we spin around here. We've got little, you know, we've got all the designs on the armor. We've got our, our quite uh, intricate fencing foil sort of, I guess it's not really a foil, um, but you know what I mean. Uh, the sword hilt there, daggers on the waist, very cool. This is Aija, the human summoner. And as you can see, she has some magical effect in her hand, as though she's summoning, but you can even see, like, details onto her face. She's got her staff, which looks like it kind of comes to a snake head there backpack with the sort of armor and the tassels there even the intricate like looks like a dress pattern there so well done this is Faya. Faya, the human witch this one's awesome look at this she's got this like i don't even know she's got antlers or something going on in her hair she's got uh, uh this cool staff with these tassels hanging off this badass looking like scarlet swirly magic in her hand she's got the skull on sort of the tabard there hair is just ugh, this is an epic mini this character just looks awesome all right here's tuku the eidolon which yeah is basically just like a dragon but it's got a necklace it's got a bracelet it looks like this is a character this is a solid just little dragon mini here look at the detail on the scales the sort of gradient pattern on the wings this is really, really nice. I am a big fan of this little guy. All right, then we've got Quinn, the human inquisitor, which looks to be like maybe some sort of, uh, you know, vampire hunter style. Looks like he might have like a magnifying glass with a stake. He's got a bandolier there. He's got this, is that a whip in his hand or a staff? He's got all these tubes and stuff on the back. Uh, I don't know if I would have gone with that sort of almost greenish, chartreuse ish jacket color pattern if I were him, but, you know, to each their own. Then we have our, our Celtiel, our, what is he, a half-elf magus. Here's his base. As you can see, he popped off of there, but I think 
even without glue, we might be able to just stick him. Maybe we can just stick him right back on there. We can stick him on there enough to get the video. But yeah, he's got this wicked elven sword. He's got this fireball that he's coiling in his hand. It uh, looks like it's actually coming back on him. But look at the detail on the cloak around the outside and his armor in the front there. All the little buckles and tassels and things. And then my standout favorite is Dodgy, which looks to be uh, a nine-tailed fox. Got a little Okami vibes there from the face paint, but yeah. I don't know if you can play a fox character in Pathfinder 2e. I mean, I guess there's no reason you can't play it in any game, but that is just awesome. It was always shown next to the witch, so in my head, this was like a familiar to the witch, but it's supposed to be, you know, an iconic hero, according to the, the paperwork that I have. It says, but it does say, Faya the human witch and Dodgy the fox, so it does make me think that they are a combo, as well as it does say, uh, Aija the summoner, and Tuku the Eidolon. So it looks like she may have summoned the Eidolon is how that's supposed to work, I think. Um, so they're sort of a combo. But yeah, either way, these minis are just epic. I love them. The detail is phenomenal. I'm just going to fix our, our Magus here so we can put him back on the board. I guess we'll have to, we'll have to do it like this because... He's going to fall if I try to stand him up. But yeah, I mean, just look at... Oops. That is an imposing party to face down for sure. I I really, really like the quality of these minis. I like the detail, the style, even the posing. Which ones get kind of like the magical effects and stuff. Very, very cool. Let's do our little can do some space there yeah check that out that is a cool set of minis right there and i do think with the amount of detail and the intricateness and how unique these guys are 49.99 for the set uh is a pretty solid price although i could i could make you could make an argument for me to maybe drop it down to 35 i think that would be reasonable as well but yeah thank you so much to paizo and WizKids for sending these over these are an epic inclusion to my growing mini collection so look for these coming out in September. Again, as of the time of me recording this, um, the current release date is September. No links at the moment as it's so far out. But Thank you again. Thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support me and the channel. I will see you all next time.